Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing um, my May favorites and I don't have like a lot of stuff this month to show you, especially like beauty products just because I don't really switch out my beauty products that much but um, I have a couple things and then I have like a couple random things too like music and movies that I want to talk about so if you guys want to see then just keep watching. Okay, so my first thing I'm going to talk about is um, this uh, Maybelline's Colored Tattoo um, Eyeshadow. And I've actually used this in, I think, like two of my tutorials this past month. Just because um, it's a really great base for any, like, bronzy looks that you want. And it also is really nice just on its own. Um... And I've had this for a while, but I just never really reached for it. So I started using it, and it's really awesome. It's perfect for summer because, um, like, anytime I just wanted to go for, like, a natural look, I usually just use this and mascara, and, like, I'm good to go. And for the most part, it's waterproof, too, which is really nice. So I really like this, and it looks really nice on, like, blue or hazel eyes. So... That's my first favorite. Um, and then I also have um, another eyeshadow type thing. I've really been liking my Lorac Pro palette. Um, I got this back in like February, but I just never really used it that much just because I had other eyeshadows I really liked. So I started using this again and I really like it. Um, this is what it looks like if you guys haven't seen, which I'm sure you have because it's really popular right now. Um, but I really have been liking like the mauve shadow in here. Um, and also this Garnet eyeshadow. It's a really pretty like reddish bronzy color. And I've really been liking using it. Um, I actually did a tutorial on it for like a grungy type look. And I just really like it. It's different from anything I usually wear, but I really enjoy wearing that with like no eyeliner and just like a lot of mascara. It looks really pretty. So I'll definitely link the tutorial on the um, down bar if you guys want to watch it. But I've really been liking this. My next favorite would be, I've really been liking um, a bunch of like highlighters that I have. So. Like I have this one from Hard Candy, it's the Tiki Bronzer. It's really pretty. Um, it's just like a golden um, highlight. It's really, really nice. It's perfect for like summer if you have a tan. Probably can't really see it, but um, it's perfect for that. I like using it more when I do have a tan though because since I'm so fair, it can kind of, like, you can kind of see it. Um, and then I also have been liking, um, this is Benefit Sunbeam, which is a really pretty, um, like, golden highlight again, too. But it's in liquid form, so it's really nice for, like, if you want something more waterproof. If you're going to, like, the pool or something. It's this one right here. Um... So yeah, I've been really liking wearing matte, but then like setting it with, um, this is Elf's Golden Bronzer, and I've been using this color right here, which this I use pretty much like all year round. It's perfect for me for my skin tone. Um, it's just, it's more of like a white based highlight, but it's really pretty, um, especially if you're fair tone like I am. So I've been really liking all of those, and I've been kind of just switching back and forth. Um, like I said, like, now that it's getting hotter, I really like wearing just, like, natural makeup with, like, a little bit of BB cream and, like, highlighter. I love glowy skin for summer, so these have definitely been, a, like, a must for me. Um, and then, like I said, I like glowy stuff for summer. So I have, this is NARS Blush in Deep Throat. Um, it's just, like, a corally pinky color. And it has, I think, like gold shimmers in it. So I always use this a lot in the summer. It's perfect for that. And then um, this is like my favorite for summer. I use this all the time. It's Benefits Coralista Blush. Um, it smells so good. I can't really 
describe what it smells like but to me it smells like summer because I always use it in the summer and it's just a really pretty um, corally blush that's really glowy um, it's not like super visible but it definitely gives you some like glow to your skin which I really like so I've been wearing this a lot and I sometimes like will like layer these two together oh I've been really liking this is the curling iron I've been using um, to get like these waves and I actually just did a tutorial on it so I'm not sure if it'll be up before this but whenever it is I'll link it um, but this is I'm not sure it's definitely smaller than a one inch curling iron but I've been really liking um, wrapping my hair around it and it gives like perfect waves for my hair and it keeps your hair like shiny um, I've had this for a while so I'm not sure if they still sell it but I think I got it at like Walmart or Target or something so I really like that um, oh and it also like my curls stay in pretty much for like two or three days which is really nice so I don't have to like redo my hair or anything um, and then for hair the only two things I have um, is this hairspray um, this is John Frieda's Frizzies hairspray um, I don't really like spending a lot of money on hair stuff just because I don't know like I like my hair to look nice but it's not I'd rather spend money on like makeup and stuff so this was just a cheap hairspray I picked up but I really like it and um, like it doesn't leave my hair crunchy or anything and it keeps my curls in place like all day so I've really been liking this and then um, I also really like this is it's a 10 miracle leave-in product um, I'm sure you've heard about this because it's really popular here on YouTube but I didn't really like it when I first got it just because with like my fine hair and everything it's kind of hard to use stuff like this without it really weighing my hair down um, but I just use like a light spray of it and it really helps when I get out of the shower to like detangle my hair because I don't know why I think it might have been because of me getting like my hair a little bit blonder um, it's really hard to like brush my hair out when I get out of the shower so this has definitely helped and um, I think it's actually really helped my hair stay a little bit healthier so I really like this um, the only downside is it's kind of expensive this is like uh, I think it's like 20 or 30 dollars a bottle which is kind of crazy so um, and then my last like makeup favorite is uh, CoverGirl's Super Sizer Mascara and I actually did a review on this and I'll link it down below and everything um, I really like this I don't know why though but it's like drying out a little bit and I've only had it for like a month but I really like it for separating my um, lashes and everything it gives just like a really pretty like um, defined eyelash look it doesn't give like a lot of like volume and stuff so I'll like layer it with other mascaras and everything but I really really like this and I love um, the wand on it because it's like a really thin one so it's actually like perfect for your bottom eyelashes and everything and for some reason like I don't have a lot of bottom eyelashes so this kind of makes it look like I do and separates them and everything so I really really like this and I think it just came out like probably like a month ago or something so it's definitely new um, so that's all of like my beauty favorites and everything but um, I also have okay, so um my last like visible favorite is um, this t-shirt I got from Hot Topic it's just a Metallica tee and I really like um, like des the design on it and everything it's so cool um, and I've been wearing this like a lot and I love it with this makeup look that I have on just because it kind of goes with the colors in this shirt so I don't know it just looks really cool and like grungy looking which I really like so that's a favorite and then um my last favorite would be the movie it's called it follows and 
I'm not sure if it's out on DVD or anything yet. Um, I just watched it online. I heard about it from Sarah Hawkinson here on YouTube and it's so good. I love horror movies and anything scary and stuff, but like lately, um, I don't know, the movies that have been coming out haven't really been good and like caught my attention or anything, but this movie was so good. Um, it's just like so different from anything that's out and I love the soundtrack it's just like so amazing and different and it kind of sounds like 80s a little bit um it's not like a slasher film or anything crazy but just the way they did it was really good and it's definitely like the type of horror movies I like so that was really good um and yeah that's pretty much all of my favorites I'm gonna have linked down below like I always do my music favorites of the month and everything um I know definitely I'm going to mention it now, I love 21 Pilots and their new album that just came out last month. That's pretty much like all I've been listening to, it's so good. So definitely go check that out and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.